Okay, so in this video clip, I'm going to take a look at some Python code and we've uh, included in some divot yields and we're going to estimate um, the Cox-Ross-Rubenstein binomial model uh, using Python. Now the code, source of this code is from Jan Roman and Jan has a lot of very interesting material on his website and I just uh, past couple of days came across uh, some code that he has for estimating uh, American options uh, in the Cox Ross Rubenstein framework. Now his code is a little bit more in terms of graphing. So I've taken out that element um, and I, as before I've included in dividend, right? So uh, dividend can be useful because you can set up uh, when we're pricing options on currency with the risk-free rate in the foreign currency. So um, having a dividend yield uh, specification is uh, something that uh, probably adds a little bit of value or makes the, you can make your approach a little bit more flexible. So we're going to start here by very simply copying our code and we'll do a few preliminary tests. Right, um, but um, we will compare to some American values that I have uh, f uh, obtained from Brody and Temple 1996, and I'll leave a reference for this as well. Uh, so we've copied the code, and we'll we can check our values against the value here in a moment. But let's go into an online compiler for. Uh, couple of different languages, uh, Python, C++, but we have Java. So we're going to go with Python 3 and we'll take out whatever code we have here and we'll just paste. And so when I run this, uh, in this instance, we're going to get a value for the put option. Um, and the parameters that we have are the thousand steps, S is 100, the uh, exercise is uh, equal to 100. Risk-free rate is five. We're gonna go with a dividend yield of zero for the moment. V is 20%, T is equal to one. Now, because this is, maybe we should go with a call option. So we'll change this. Uh, in fact, what we can do is we can just uh, put a pound sign here and we're going to run the call option. Now, if it's a call option and the dividend is equal to zero, the American call, this is for an American call, the American call uh, will, will be priced like a European option. So it's never optimal to exercise an American call when the dividend is equal to zero. That's something that we know from theory. So I know when I run this, I should get a value close to 10.45. Right, so let's just run that with a thousand steps and see what we get. Now, it might take a little, little bit of time here because uh, this, again, this is static code and static code uh, is generally a little bit more inefficient than, than dynamic code. And we don't have any truncation and we haven't optimized the code. So it's not going to be extremely fast. Okay, we have 10. 44 that's quite close to 1045 i'm sure if i raise that to 5000 uh we get close to 1045 i'm going to run that and then i'm going to pause because i suspect it'll take a little bit of time to uh to execute so i'm going to pause okay so we still haven't uh code hasn't executed yet and it's now 7:20 p.m. i'm going to pause again And we still haven't estimated it's 7.22. And it's 7.24 and we've, we've lost, we've just lost connection to our, okay, so we'll, what we'll do is we'll go back to 1,000 steps and we'll run again. And that will take a little bit less, but obviously the computation um, was a little bit of a little bit intensive here, and um, 
we had issues. So that's, it's gonna run. And no issues, okay, we get 1044, okay. Now I'm gonna take, um, uh, black show the same, um, estimation again now that so we have here a small issue with with um computation speed so um what we can do is um just a tester model we basically know this is in the region of uh, 1044 Four, so that looks pretty okay. So I can take a snippet of um, existing code from perhaps C++. So if I go into the next, I have some C++ optimized code for estimating um, the value of um, a call option, American call option. And the parameter, parameters that I'm using here so let's just take this snippet here. Okay, so this is Cox Ross Rubenstein, dynamic memory uh, design and a truncated zero region. It is C code. So we'll copy this and we'll so we'll copy this code and we'll go into uh, the online compiler again. And we'll pick C++. And this time we will remove uh, that segment there and paste. Now we have, uh, where are these parameters coming from? The parameters that we have here are the same as those for the uh, Brody in the Temple um, 1996, right? So we have risk-free rate of 3%, volatility of 20, dividend of seven. Uh, the exercise uh, T is equal to three years, the exercise is equal to 100, and we have a stock price or an asset price of 100. Okay, so if we run that at 5,000 steps, the result, at 15,000 steps, we should have had a result close to 9.66. Okay, and we'll take a look at that now. And you can see here it's 9.657. Let's push that up to 15. And let's run again. And you can take a note of the time here. And we'll pause for a moment. And we have a result of 9.065, uh, virtually 6.6. And that's consistent with the result that we have here. Now, if we go back into uh, the Python code and take the same results, I don't think we will 5,000 steps stall. So let's reduce this to 1,000 steps and run. Would be quite fast, I would imagine. And then I'm gonna take uh, with the same parameter values here for the Python code using static memory. It's not uh, dynamic or truncated. Let's just run. And we can come back here and take a look and you can see here we've 9.064. So this is an American call option with a thousand steps, S equal to 100. K equal to 100, T equal to three years, R equal to 3%, Q equal to seven, V is equal to 0.2. And the value that we get is 9.064. Let's take a look at the Python code. It's also executed. We have 9.6469. 9.6469. So these are the same results. So that's good. I know that the C++ code is, uh, is working because I've tested it fairly extensively. And we can see here, this seems to be working. Let's lower the step size here to 500 steps. And let's run. And let's run the step size here, the 500 steps for the C++ code. And let's run. 
and we'll compare the two. Now we have 9.632 for the Python code, and we have here 9.0632. So the results that we have obtained on using both models are the same using the C++ code, which I know uh, has been tested fairly rigorous, rigorously, and then using Jan, um, Jan's code, Jan Roman's code, uh, we're also getting 9.0632. This is, the author here is Victor Lopez Lopez, and there's a few members involved in that construction. Um, the big disadvantage here with the code is that the code is uh, a static type code, uh, but otherwise it is working and we could use it uh, so and it, in a different type of uh, app uh, we probably get fast results. Okay, I'm going to stop it here.